In today's video, I will show you how to oil it, dust it, take care of it for basic maintenance to keep it a, a machine that will last your whole life. Kenmore model number 158.13413. It does get a little bit of dust, but not too bad. Most of the dirt and stuff is going to be down in here. The places that it needs oil will be right up here. And I like to look at, see, see how the parts move. Look at, look at all the parts. The shaft where this is going up and down, that's a place it needs to be oiled. Right here it needs to be oiled. Right here it needs to be oiled. I could probably reach it better from up top. But right in there. When I bought this uh, machine from the a person off of Facebook from the marketplace because I was looking for another machine I first thing I did was take it apart <laughs> to make sure it was well oiled and clean because some people neglect their machines they don't take good care of them and I just wanted to look at all the parts make sure I, got, I think I got this for a hundred dollars. I don't know. Maybe it was less. I can't remember the price. I like to move it so that that thing comes up to the top so I can reach it better. Basically where two parts will join and run against each other, that's where you need to oil. And uh, it runs quieter and smoother when it's well oiled. Right, the places that it needs to be oiled here will be right there's one and where these gears are and I like to distribute the oil by stepping on it and right in here and also right here here and there. All the moving parts. So we have a well oiled and clean machine. I'm going to push the button so you can see all the parts moving. A well oiled machine. It's a good working machine. I waited until my machine was nice and dirty to show you how to clean it. Now when your machine gets a lot of use, which right now it's getting a lot of use, uh, it's going to collect dust and after a while you're going to start hearing sounds that it makes. It doesn't sound the same. It's not running as smooth. And that's probably because it's dirty. Also, my bobbin ran out. And I'm going to take the time to do this video while my because I need to refill my bobbin. Okay. I'm going to take, take our bobbin out. These two piles, and these two parts come out. And take my little brush and just clean out everything in here. You see, there's lots of dust. It's a good idea to remove this plate and dust in here. All of this, everything here gets really, really dusty. Now I'm going to take off this plate to get it down in there just to see if it needs to be dusted. So what I want to do is I'm going to loosen and take my presser foot off. Just so I've got a little more space. Just so I can see some dust here. And then I'll use my screwdriver. And the screwdriver, it's short, but still it's hard to fit in here. I have more room on this side. Take off this plate. You can see the amount of dust in here around the... The more you sew on it, the dust the machine gets. Yeah. 
that I have been doing a lot of sewing, so. Try not to mess up the screw head since I can't put this straight down. Uh, I have to do it sideways, so you have to be. Sometimes that wears out the screw and the screw head gets kind of messed up. I've turned my machine over. This is the bottom of it. Removing these screws here. The three screws here, here, and there. Take off this plate. Turn it on so you can you see, see how that's moving. And this is moving right here. So here are places that need oil. Right there. Right there. And okay. Alright, now we can take that off. And wow, look at the dust dust that is under there. That you could not see it unless you take off the bottom. So that needs to be all cleaned out. Yeah, the dusty part of the machine is going to be right there. So this gives it a thorough cleaning. And this machine has been used practically every day for the last six weeks. I have sewn 600 and 26 masks. Okay, and there are two places that need oil in here. Right there. Right there. I like to um, have the machine plugged in when I do this because then, you know, I can. I can see the movement of the parts and um, sometimes it exposes more dust and it also distributes the oil. Look at the bottom of this plate. It's got a bunch of dust. Alright, now we got to put it all back together and I think this should go on first. Now I got it out without, without, all right, let me get it. Okay, the longer screw, just go on this side. And yes, it was necessary to take off that panel before taking off this part. put this plate back on. This slips underneath there. And put the top screw on first. They're very short screws so it's a little hard to manage. I just gotta try to hold it and then get with the screwdriver. Ugh, it's hard to get it started. Uh, don't screw it all the way because you may have to shift it a little bit. It moves a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to screw it all the way tight. This one has a washer. That one goes there because you may have to shift this a little bit to get this to line up properly. Okay, when it goes in good, it's lined up right. Then we can come back and tighten these two. Okay, so we have the underside of the sewing machine all dusted. We already looked at the top make sure we, we dust it off. See, a lot of dust gets on there. And if there's any dust in here, I'm going to put this in first. This goes like that, so this is going to be on the opposite side. So it, it should fit right there. There's a hook right there. This is the top. And put those two parts in. And then these little leathers with a bump on it. 
how it fits into this little slot and that holds it in. But it's a good idea to keep your machine well dusted and an occasional oiling with some machine oil. And you'll have a machine that will last you a lifetime, especially if it's one of these old vintage sewing machines that has all metal parts, which means it's a heavy machine, but I prefer that. I have no confidence in plastic. I think every part of this machine, except for this stuff right here, is the only plastic on it. But all the working parts inside are m metal. And that I have confidence in. Metal. I do have uh, some links I'm going to put in the description below where you can buy sewing machine parts, where you can even download an owner's manual for your particular machine. At some point, I'm not sure when, I will be doing a video showing you all the different stitches and the settings on the machine for the specific different stitches. If you found value in this video, please hit the thumbs up because that helps me. And also hit the subscriber button. And I have a really cool sewing project that's coming up and I just know you're going to love it.